we're only using a partial range of motion. So I'm not going all the way down, I'm not going all the way up. I'm just doing partial reps like this. Now the reason I'm doing partial reps What's up guys, it is Joseph Rackets here from josephracketsfitness.com and today, in this video, I'm going to take you through my entire bicep workout. I'll show you what exercises I perform, give you the number of sets, the number of reps that I do and also give you some tips and techniques along the way so that you can apply this to yourself and hopefully make some good bicep gains. Anyway, let's get started. First exercise that I'm doing today is dumbbell concentration curls. Now I like to start off with this exercise because it's a great exercise to really activate the bicep muscle. Because in my opinion, there is no other bicep exercise that really allows you to get this same um, squeeze and contraction. For example, when you're doing a barbell curl, you're curling up and down, and you can't get the same contraction as if you're doing a concentration curl. So, I always like to start off on a concentration curl, really focus on that squeeze and contraction, drive the blood into the muscle, then I get into all the heavy exercises. I also like to curl it up and bring my elbow this way. That just helps me get a better contraction. Also, the reason I like to do my concentration curls first is because when the biceps are so pumped and so full of blood, it's actually hard to get that same squeeze and same contraction. So, doing this fresh, when the bicep muscle is cold, it's actually a lot easier to really get that squeeze. Alright, second exercise that we're doing guys is dumbbell hammer curls. Now this is a great exercise for working the outside part of your bicep, the bicep long head. So the bicep split up into two main muscle heads. There's the bicep long head, which is the outer, and the bicep short head, which is the inner. I'll put a diagram up on the screen for you guys now. So when doing any bicep exercise, both of these heads are activated. But depending on the exercise that you do, there's gonna be different amounts of stress on either the long head or the short head. Now doing a dumbbell hammer curl, like what I'm just doing now, you're activating more of the, the bicep long head, so the outer part of the bicep. So this is a great exercise for really developing that high bicep peak. So when I'm performing my dumbbell hammer curls, I like to bring my elbow forward a little bit on every single rep. So as you notice here, if I go like this, yes I'm working the bicep, but what I personally like to do is I like to bring my elbow forward like that, just a little bit. And what that helps me do, it helps me get a better squeeze of the bicep muscle, instead of just doing it back here like this. So next time you do your hammer curls, try that technique. Bring your elbow just a little bit forward on every single rep. Third exercise guys, we're doing wide grip partial curls. Now we're using a really, really thick bar, this bar here. So what that's gonna do, it's gonna put 
more stress on the forearms as well and more activation on the short head. We're also using a wide grip which is going to put more activation on the short head also. Now as I explained in the previous exercise, the dumbbell hammer curl, it works the outside part, the bicep long head. With this exercise, a wide grip and a thick bar will place more stress on the bicep short head. So this is a great exercise for really building overall bicep mass. Now, we're only using a partial range of motion. So I'm not going all the way down, I'm not going all the way up. I'm just doing partial reps like this. Now the reason I'm doing partial reps is to keep the stress and the tension on the muscle the whole entire time. Because the more stress and the more tension we can apply to the muscle, the more muscle fibers we're going to rip, therefore the more chance for muscle growth we're going to get. Fourth exercise guys, we're doing bicep pull-ups. Now the reason I'm doing a bicep pull-up is so we can hit the biceps from a different angle and apply a different form of stress. So whenever most people are in the gym and they're training their biceps, 100% of the exercises are all curls. Dumbbell curl, barbell curl, hammer curl, preacher curl. So doing a bicep pull-up is something completely different. We're not activating the bicep muscle from a curl, we're activating it from a pull. So we want to try to keep our body as straight as we can, not use our back, but pull our body weight up just with our bicep muscles. So, pull from here and not your lats. Muscle mind connection is also very important, guys. Focus on the biceps, not the back. It's a great way to also apply weight overload. You can put a lot more weight on the biceps this way than you could from a standard bicep curl. Alright, so what we're doing guys is we are doing lying bar curls. Now the reason we're doing a lying bar curl is so our back is on the ground. That way it prevents us from swinging back like this and using momentum. We can apply all the stress and all the emphasis into the bicep muscle. We're then supersetting that with this exercise here, um, rope face pulls. It's a great exercise for really working the bicep peak. And we're supersetting both these exercises together so we can increase the intensity and we can increase the stress and the time under tension on the muscle. Because the more we do that, the more stimulus for the muscle we're going to create, therefore it's going to lead to more muscle growth. So we're supersetting the last two sets, um, the last two exercises, sorry, for a total of four sets, and then that is the bicep workout complete. Alright guys, and that is the end of the bicep workout. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a few tips and techniques along the way. So next time you train your biceps, apply some of those tips and techniques to your own training and I guarantee you'll get some good, solid bicep gains. But don't forget, the most important thing for muscle growth is following the correct diet. You need to be consuming adequate amounts of protein. You need to be fueling your body with enough calories in order to fuel that growth. So diet is the number one most important thing guys. And if you need help, with a custom meal plan with your protein, carbohydrates, and fats met perfectly for you and your specific goals. I can help you. I'm an online personal trainer, so 
click the link in the description box down below for more information on all the services that I provide. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.